Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a Sarah Hill Hansen number 75258 Anakin's Pod Racer 20th Anniversary Edition. This it comes with two minifigures and the collectible 1999 Luke Skywalker. This set released in 2019 and retails for 30 US dollars. It contains 279 pieces. I do like the box art for this set because it's got the whole 20th anniversary type stuff, which is very nice. I think the Luke Skywalker is actually the oldest of all the 20th anniversary minifigures because it says 1999. I think all the other ones are like 2000 or higher. Uh, you do get a Padme minifigure and Anakin Skywalker. I believe the last time you saw this set was like when it was originally released in like the early 2000s when The Phantom Menace came out. So that, that's that been a long time since they made one. This is the back of the box. You get to see it from what it looks like on the back, how you can hold it, and that you actually have the ability to move like those turbines in the front. A uh, feature that you, that you can see actually, they both use this small legs, even though you can actually move Padme's legs, which is really nice. It, I'll show you about that later. And of course you have the five 20th anniversary minifigures. This one comes with the Luke Skywalker minifigure and a display. And then it shows the original uh, pod racer set. I think this is the only other one they've made. And so yeah, now then let's get into the minifigs. This is the first minifigure is the young Anakin Skywalker minifigure. He does look pretty nice with that torso print. I think it's the same one you got when you made the Naboo Starfighter from 2015. And the back printing also looks pretty nice, especially with those scuff marks. And there's no printing on like these tiny legs that he can't move. And of course he does have like this pilot's helmet. And if you lift up the goggles, you get to see like this child's face with like some pimples on the side and he does look to be a little sad. Uh, I, he does have a second expression where he's happier and this is like a uh, pilot's helmet because it's got the regular helmet plus the goggles on there which can actually be able to be moved up and down as you can see here. But that's all for this character. Let's get on to the next one. This is the Padme Amidala main figure, or Queen Padme in disguise, because she, when she went to Naboo, she had to, of course, be disguised so that the Separatists wouldn't find her. As you can see, she's got some pretty nice torso print, but for some reason, if I remove the hair piece, you'll see that she does have a back print and a second expression. But I don't even know why they did, because this is the most, this is like the biggest hair piece I've ever seen on a Lego minifigure, like ever. And she does come with like a regular blaster, like the medium sized blaster, which is nice. And something that's a little bit different about this character is, that I think this is the first Lego minifigure with the child legs that actually the ability to move up and down like that. I'm not sure why they didn't give it to the Anakin minifigure or any other ones, just kind of amazed and surprised about how and why they did that. But that's it for this minifigure. Let's get on to the next. This is the final minifigure of the set. The 1999 Luke Skywalker. Basically what they did was they took the 1999 Luke Skywalker. They only made two changes to him. They gave him a much better looking lightsaber hilt and they added the 20 years Lego Star Wars on the back, which makes this, I guess a bigger collectible because even if you want to get the regular one, the original one does not have this on the back. And he, of course, does come with this nice stand that says 20 years uh, for Lego Star Wars, 1999 to 2019. Luke Skywalker, you know, designating this one as his. He, of course, has the original le yellow Lego head and a pretty basic torso print. Of course, there will not be second base, just yellow and the classic blue lightsaber that he has from episode four when they made this look Skywalker. And that's all for the minifigures. Let's get into the set itself. This is the pod racer itself. 
I did like the build. It was very nice, especially with these custom clear Technic pieces. Was cool to see that. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff. There's a lot of stickers for such a small set. Like I think there was about 10 or so stickers. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 stickers just for one set that only has 279 pieces, which is absolutely insane. But now then let's get a closer look at the cockpit area. This is the cockpit area. It's where you would place the Anakin Skywalker minifigure. He would go in like so. You can't really physically place him into seating position, but you'd in a sense just get his arms out, put him in the front one or back one, it doesn't matter because not sure what you can see, but there's a second set of studs over there, and then it makes it look like that he's actually turning it. Two Innocents give it a great sense of detail. They did have the uh, side things over here, the great ability to turn, which is nice. On the back, they have just like the 501st Legion Clone Troopers, like this piece, like this slope piece, except theirs was bigger, with three stickers on it, which I find to be absolutely crazy. And as you can see over here, these ropes, uh, if you were able to see in the movie, you'll be able to see that on the pod racer there were these types of ropes. Now then, let's get into the engine area. So these are the two engines. They were incredibly well designed. I think the coolest piece that I found that, that was used is like these pink uh, lightning pieces. Like maybe you don't want to put them inside the set and you have an Emperor Palpatine. And uh, like if you watch the Lego holiday specials, like those Lego, like the Lego Star Wars things that they do, like those off-brand things, I forgot what they're called, uh, Star like Lego makes them, I think, or maybe Disney does, I don't know, but like they make the Emperor look like an idiot. And so I guess if you want to like recreate one of those, you can give him the pink lightning like that he zapped something too much or he got zapped with something that was lightning's pink, you know, make that a little bit funny. And there's a lot of detail in this. Like, even over here, it's just greatly detailed, even though the front doesn't look so. But with the amount of pieces they did, I think they did a great job. And if you want, you can even open all of them up, you know, like they're like he's actually inside the race. Or if you want, you can keep them nice and closed like I do, because they do take up less space. And the back engines over here look really nice. They actually did this stuff over here that would actually perfectly line up where it wouldn't get hit. So it does look really nice like that. Now then let's get into the handle area. So this is the handle area. It basically just used a bunch of the clear custom Technic because they think they just took like these Technic pieces that we have seen before, but they put it in clear, which is really nice. And you can hold it from over here and it'll basically hold it the whole thing. Or if you want to have it displayed, it leans back a little and then it, the whole thing just stays up, which is really cool. Hey, get the whole thing to stay up with just a little bit of Technic, which is absolutely insane. And the only downside is that they, they use like these tan color pieces. They should have also made like these custom ones in white or clear because then it would look much better. And also with the bottom part, that would have looked really nice. But at least they did this part. And that is all for my Anakin's 20th Anniversary Edition Pod Racer. I hope you guys would like and subscribe.